A major commercial hub, Vijayawada is known as the business capital of Andhra Pradesh. Located on the banks of the Krishna River, Vijayawada is the second largest city of Andhra Pradesh. And as of 2011 census, its population exceeds 1 million. This city has got uh, best uh, uh, clean city award a uh, few years back uh, but uh, because of uh, sudden rise in population and uh, huge floating population into the city now it is facing the challenge of uh, sanitation in all parts of the city. Vijayawada generates municipal solid waste up to 530 tons per day and like any other urban centre faces challenges in collection, transportation treatment and disposal of solid waste. In the past decade, the VMC has worked on enforcing source segregation and establishing a door-to-door -door collection system. On realizing that 70% of the city's solid waste is organic in nature and can be converted to manure, the Vijayawada Municipal Corporation decided to turn this into an opportunity by setting up numerous vermicomposting units in the city. When treated, this organic waste not only yields rich manure, it helps in mitigation of greenhouse gases. <laughs> The corporation began 11 such vermicomposting units in Vijayawada. The VMC vehicles unload the collected mixed waste at the premises of the plant. This waste is sorted manually for removal of any non-biodegradable fraction. Additionally, material like green chilies need to be removed, since worms are sensitive to hot or spicy items. Vermicomposting consists of an initial pre-composting step using the aerobic windrow method. In this stage, waste is mixed with cow dung or manure and then spread on a compost pad. The compost pad is a cement concrete or stone slab with a slope of about 1% for the collection of excess water called leachate in a tank located in the lowest corner of the composting pad area. This nutrient-rich leachate is collected and reused for watering. Turning of the heap and maintaining the moisture content is vital for the decomposition of waste. A simple way to check moisture content is by squeezing the waste. If the water drips, then the moisture content is too high and bits of paper and hay must be added. If it is too dry, then water must be sprinkled. After 14 days, when the waste is partly decomposed, it is transferred to the vermicomposting pad, which is an area where vermicomposting tanks are placed. Either granite slabs or concrete is used for the construction of the tanks. Holes at the bottom allow free drainage of leachate into the collection pond located in the lowest corner. The waste is turned and sprinkled with water using rakes and earthworms are introduced to the tank. Earthworms like Ferretima elongata and Idurulis are commonly used. The vermi compost pad must also be covered by a roof to protect the worms from heat and rain. Retaining moisture content of the waste and measuring the temperature are important factors for protecting the worms. Hay and grass also need to be constantly removed to ensure the right carbon-nitrogen content. The vermi composting process usually takes between 30 to 45 days, post which the worms excrete dark, odorless, nutrient and organically rich soil mud granules called worm castings that make an excellent soil conditioner. Each tank is monitored for the development of these worm castings, formed on the top layer, which is carefully scooped out and collected every day. The collected compost is screened using a 4 mm sieve.
It is then weighed, bagged and sold as vermicompost. Vachinu Tvandi Chattani Shastriya Paddhatilu Parisaralaki Pariyavarananiki Hani Lekunda Manchi Sakraman Paddhatilu Dispose Chetime Kakunda Ii Chattanu Nchi Sampadhan Goda Shrushti Nchali Anetta Tvandi Vakka Aa Vachinu Tvandi Aa Eruvu Thayarika Vachinu Tvandi Ikkada Manak Avasrama Eno Tvandi Implements Evaite Manam Vildu Dhani Separate Chetan Ka Avasrama Eno Tvandi Spades Gani Leda Brooms Gani Lekapote Dustbins Gani Ilandi cina cina macam tuan tu perikaral gani, leda ini vermi plant kita awasan macam tuan tu cina cina repair gani, ini vermi koda, awa cina tuan tu amount tuan tu meet order jadi tu. Two issues, number one is lifting up the garbage will be increased. Number two is we will get the same thing, sand they will be sold out. So many people take over the vegetable, agriculture people and other people also get sold. Vermi composting requires no energy input for aeration and produces a valuable ready-to-use fertilizer. The manure created here is utilized for improving the green cover of the city and also made available for sale to citizens. We are making all roads green. For that, we are planting lot of trees and plants for which we are using this same vermi compost. So we are self self sustainable in usage of production and usage of vermi compost. The positive spirit towards solid waste management is successfully reflected in the vermi composting activity of the Vijayawada Municipal Corporation and can become an inspirational model for the country.